Hello, welcome to episode 8 in the Data Pack Tutorials version 1.21. We're going to make a button press advancement. I'm sort of um, making this really for me because uh, I saw this on MC Discord, I think it was. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to save that. So it is useful, sort of. <laughs> we've got some buttons, and if I press them, it just says I pressed a button. There we go, we've got no. Uh, oh, I broke it. We've got no command blocks under there. It is just uh, an advancement checking if I press a button, any button. You can change it to uh, be a specific button, which we will do as well. Um, yeah, as I say, I saw this on MC Commands Discord. It was a question by Jerry's, and then uh, Dork Ork and Actually Blue helped out with the commands, and I thought, I'm going to save that for myself. Uh, what better way to save it than just make it into a tutorial so I can come back and watch it whenever I like? And uh, now you can as well. So it's going to be a quick one. Let's get on and build it now. Okay, here we are in Misode's generators. We're in the advancement generator. And let's make this one so we can detect if we press any button. So our requirement is going to be any block use. And we're going to add a condition. And we're going to go to location and switch it from legacy to conditions. And our condition here is going to be not entity properties. No, we're going to do a location check. And the location check is we're going to check a block. And here we can type it. So let's say we just wanted to check if they pressed an oak button. There we go. That's only going to detect oak buttons. And you can obviously change the type of button you want. But I want to check if they're going to press any button. So I'm just going to type in B or T T O N. That will bring up all the button ones. There we go. And I'm going to use the block tag list. So we've got three of them. We've got wooden buttons only, stone buttons only. I'm just going to do buttons. So that is a tag list that is containing all the different buttons. So if I click on any button, well, at the moment, it's not going to do anything. So I haven't set myself a reward. So let's set a reward. And my reward is going to be, it's going to run a function. So that should be ID YouTube. And I think we're on uh, episode eight. And let's run the function pressed button. And then I click off here just so it updates. There we go. So our criteria, any block use, uh, location check, Minecraft buttons, run that function. Okay, let's copy that. Copy. And I'm going to pop over to our blank data pack. Right, so if you don't know how to get to the blank data pack, check out episode one. Um, so in here, in our namespace, we'll create a new folder. Um, advancement. There we go. And in there, we'll create a new file. This will be my advancement. Let's call it, I don't know, pressed button. And it will be a JSON. And in there, I will paste what I just made in Misode's generator. Okay, I'm looking on the right side over here on the scroll bar. I don't see anything red. It all seems good. Right. But we're not running that function. And it looks so it looks like my data data pack helper plus is disabled. So let's re-enable that. There we go. Let's go back. Let's close that down. There we go. And now, because I've got that enabled, it's saying, well, this function doesn't actually exist. That's okay. Let's go into my function directory. So my namespace, my function. Let's make a new file. And we called it pressed button. And this will be an MC function file. Let's go back here and just change one of these letters to force it to update. There we go. Save that again. And in pressed, I'm just going to, well, first thing I'm going to revoke that advancement. If I don't revoke the advancement, I'll only be able to press the button once. Well, I'll be able to press the button as many times as I want, but the advancement will only run once because then I've already got it. So first thing I'm going to do is revoke that advancement. Only, um, let's do ID. There it is, right at the top. Press button, and we'll just say I pressed a button. 
Okay, and we've saved that. So we've got we've only got two files. We've got the advancement, press button, and that is in the advancement directory. And we've got the press button function. Let's pop over to Minecraft. Oh, there we are. Um, and do a reload. Um, episode eight, I've loaded. Cool, let's put a button down. Press it, I've pressed a button. Okay, does it work with all buttons? We'll just test, we won't test them all. Let's just test, there's a wooden one and there's a stone one, although this is stone anyway, because it's a black stone. So let's put a wooden one down there. Yeah, that works. Let's put this one down here. That works. Okay, there we go. We're basically done, it's that fast. Uh, well, I'll tell you what we'll do though. We will just pop back into here. We'll go to our advancement and we'll just change this from hashtag Minecraft, let's tick that off. And it's now come up easy. It's saying, well, there's no such item as buttons. So let's do that oak button. So it's only gonna work now when I press an oak button. Let's save that. We don't need to change what it says. Let's pop back. So reload, almost forgot, almost forgot. I do it so often forget. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's get ourselves an oak button. Pop that down. And now it only works with the oak button. There we go. Super fast, super quick. And advancements for checking when a player presses a button. How useful is that? I don't know. I'm not really sure. Anyway, I'll take up no more of your time. See you later. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.